Is Iga Svantec really as good as people claim she is? In this video, we'll be talking, answering the question, and talking about just how wrong it is to even ask it in the first place. So sit back and relax as we let you know just what makes Iga a superb a player as she is. One could speculate whether or not Iga would have done so well if Ashley Barty hadn't been forced to retire. In spite of this, I believe that she's performing exceptionally well and is holding on to her position as world number one in an impressive manner. She currently has a win streak of 37 matches, making her the WTA player with the longest active streak at number one in this century. On the 31st of May 2001, Iga Svantec was born to her parents, Tomas and Dorota Svantec, in the city of Warsaw, Poland. Her mother, Dorota, is an orthodontist, and her father, Tomas, competed in Olympic rowing competitions in the past. Iga's father, who was also an athlete, encouraged his children to pursue careers in sports. However, while Iga chose to become a professional tennis player, her sister Agata chose to become a dentist just like her mother. I cannot say that Iga has had it all good following her reign in tennis. But one thing is certain, she has been consistent and has an excellent record in the WTA. Since the beginning of her professional career and during her time as a junior player, she has been blessed with an incredible amount of success in tennis. She reached a career high ranking of number 5, which she accomplished while she was a junior. When she was 13 years old, she won back-to-back -back titles at the low-level grade 4 level, and by the end of the year, she had moved up to grade 2 competitions, and subsequently, she won the grade 1 Canadian Open Junior Championship by beating Olga Danilovic in the final. She competed for the first time in a Junior Grand Slam event in the 2016 French Open, where she advanced to the quarterfinals of both the singles and doubles competitions. Iga was victorious in each of the seven ITF finals she competed in between the years 2016 and 2018. And while she was just 17 years old, she climbed the rankings from number 298 to number 180 in just two weeks. In 2019, she made her debut in the WTA and proceeded to defeat a lot of the top players that she faced, ultimately finishing the year ranked number 61. Impressive! She became the first Polish player to win a Grand Slam title, as well as the youngest player to win the singles competition at the French Open since Nadal in 2005. She did this by winning the French Open in 2020. Furthermore, she concluded the year at number 17, which made her the highest ranked woman to ever win the French Open in the history of WTA. By 2021, she could compete in all four Grand Slam tournaments and had advanced to the semifinals in the French Open. She did not emerge victorious at any of the Grand Slam tournaments, but she was the only player to advance to the second week of all competitions during the season, and she finished the year ranked fifth overall. She has a perfect record thus far, having triumphed in successive WTA 1000 tournaments. She began her winning streak at the Qatar Open in Doha in 2022, and went on to also triumph at Indian Wells and the Miami Open. She won her fourth Masters 1000 title by cruising to victory over Naomi Osaka in straight sets. The match was won with relative ease by Iga. With her victories at Indian Well and the Miami Open, she cemented her place in history by being only the fourth woman in the annals of tennis to ever win the Sunshine Doubles and the first woman to win all three Masters tournaments in the same calendar year. She has probably been doing rather well for herself judging by how well she has done over the course of so many years. And in addition to the records she has to show for it, her playing style is unrivaled, and it appears that many of her fellow players have yet to figure out what makes her so special. This year did not get off to a particularly good start for her, but after Ashley Barty announced her retirement, everything changed drastically. She became the highest ranked WTA player in the world, and she has not looked back since then. Although many people are of the opinion that Iga would not have been ranked number one if Barty had not retired, the truth is that she was going to get there someday, and most likely this season given the way she has played so far. Iga provides a reliable service when considering her skills. She comes at 1 meter and 76 centimeters, which is an impressive height for a top female player. Her height is one of the other factors that has contributed to her winning streak and giving her the ability to dominate other players. She has great footwork, which enables her to strike down the line and increase the likelihood of a win. Iga surprised Coco Goff at the French Open by hitting an ace to Goff's forehand wing, which kicked above Goff's shoulder. At the moment, her kicker serve is keeping her competitors at bay, which is evidence that she is performing quite well. In addition to her serve, her return serve has been an amazing aspect of her game. Iga's approach to returning serves is quite aggressive, much to that of Venus and Serena Williams. 
She enjoys taking the ball early and returning it with as much force as they can muster. She was very comfortable placing the ball cross-court and along the lines for victories at the French Open when she was playing golf. It's remarkable, and it'll be a potent tool for her to employ throughout the remainder of her career. Iga's overall record for the current campaign stands at 51% of return points won and 55% of return games won. She has also been successful in converting 54% of the breakpoint opportunities she's been given. These are outstanding stats, and they most likely serve as a better sign of her current position as the preeminent figure on the WTA Tour than anything else. She has demonstrated, on the whole, that she is a player who is aggressive from the baseline. Her rallies are brief, and the points that she scores are scored rapidly. Although she has not competed much on grass, it will be fascinating to watch how she performs on the surface, given that she won the junior version of Wimbledon in the past. Her performance on this surface would definitely bring back memories. Furthermore, her forehand is considered to be her greatest strength. During the French Open, she utilized it to establish her superiority over her rivals, and as a result, many of her shots were successful. Her techniques and strategies are remarkable. She has what's known as a western grip, yet she hits through the ball so beautifully that it's almost impossible to tell. Iga has developed strategies that are better suited for the ATP Tour than the WTA Tour, which is something that many female players find to be a significant differentiator. She positions herself to the left of the center line, in contrast to the majority of WTA players who have a more open posture forehand and allow the ball to come onto them. It enables her to assume a semi-open stance, which makes it simpler for her to hit both cross-court inside-out forehands down the line. It's beyond my comprehension why more women on the WTA circuit have not adopted this strategy after seeing how successful it's been for the men. Since the middle of the 1980s, this strategy has been utilized by a large number of the top male players. This was the strategy that great players like Steffi Graf used when playing their forehands. Prior to his retirement, Bardi utilized the exact same strategy. WTA players have demonstrated just how difficult it is to compete against Iga. Her ability to play well stems from a multitude of factors, one of which is her backhand which the player rarely makes use of. A video from the year 2020 that showed her using the backhand demonstrated how effective her strokes seem to be. She is still extremely young and has a lot of room for growth in her career. Therefore, she has the potential to learn the slice backhand as her career progresses, which will provide her additional alternatives. Her movement around the court is unquestionably of a professional caliber. She plays with a semi-open stance because she has confidence in her mobility and because she has been successful with it due to the fact that she has covered sufficient ground and moves quickly around the court. Iga possesses everything necessary to turn her into a legend in the game, and she's making great strides toward achieving that goal. When you are the number one player, many people look up to you and expect you to perform at an extremely high level in order to maintain your position. Aside from this, Iga is already doing great, and she has a bright future ahead of her. However, I do believe that she still has enough time to develop herself further. This is because, looking at her game so far, no one would doubt the fact that she still has a lot more to give, and the fans are definitely open to receiving all she has to offer. However, we would have to be patient because a legend is not made in a day. Iga is a superb player, no doubt, but it will take her time to achieve the stuff that would make her dominance unrivaled. We can only hope she gets there and proves us right. What are your best Iga Schwantek moments? Let us know in the comments section below. 